OK, so what's changing? So from January 24, it will be a contractual requirement that all GOS claims are submitted through PCSE online or a practice management system. Now, that basically covers all site tests performed up to and including the 31st of December this year. So anything from January 24, we won't be able to accept in a paper form. OK, everything will need to go through electronically. So are there any benefits to using PCSE online? Yeah, there is lots of benefits. So when you're completing the form, you've got a real time validation which flags any errors or omissions before you submit the form. So if, this, if you're going to submit something that's incorrect, the form will tell you that it's incorrect. So in essence, that will mean fewer rejected claims. I know sometimes with paper forms, it can be quite easy to get a rejection. And I think that's a lot of time it's to do with the scanning of the forms. So obviously using PCSE online will stop any rejections coming through like that because it won't allow you to continue if the details that you're inputting are incorrect. You can also log into PCSE online and check the progress of your claims 24 seven so you can access it as and when you need to. And obviously, because you're going to have fewer rejected claims coming through, that should then save you time and you'll be using less paper and postage, which essentially will reduce your carbon footprint. And obviously, using PCSE online is a safer option to use in paper just because PCSE online is a secure system that everybody will have all their own personal logins for. OK, so. Getting started, so for PCSE Online or Regos, we advise that you consider having the following. So having a device that's connected to the internet in your reception area, it means that your staff will be easily be able to pre-populate forms. Now we advise that you have say a desktop computer, a laptop or a tablet, and if you have a device with an internet connection in your testing room, that will then mean that your performer can log in and fill out the required information straight away as well. So you'll also need to have obviously browsers attached to either one of your electronic devices that you're using. We just recommend that you check that the version of the browser that you are using is the most up to date version. And we just advise that if you are using different devices in different rooms that say, for example, if you're using Chrome or Firefox, that you use that consistently with every browser just to make everything run as smoothly as possible. And also because paper will no longer be an option, we're now moving down to the electronic signature route. So that's a key part of online submissions, which means that the patient, the optometrist and the contractor can sign electronically. You can use touchpads, so such as a PC, a tablet or a mobile phone. If you don't have anything like that, don't worry. You can use a mouse that's connected to your laptop or in your PC. And we can also scan a QR code, which then will be able to give you a device where you'll be able to sign on there as well. When Salma runs through the system demonstration, she'll be able to show you where the QR code is and things, and she'll be able to explain in a little bit more detail on how you use that. OK, so using PCSE Online. So whether you're using PCSE Online or EGOS through a PMS provider, the first step that you need to do is make sure that all your staff have got all the appropriate roles that you need. Now, the main role that you are going to need is a user administrator. Now, that's because they're the ones that are responsible for assigning everybody else their roles. Now, the user administrator role in PCSE Online is called user management and it's got organisation in brackets, as you can see there just on screen. Now, I know a lot of you should already be using PCSE Online or maybe to view your statements or things, but if, if you're not sure if you've got everything set up properly, do send us an email, which is just shown there on screen, and our portal inquiries team should be able to help you out and make sure that you're set up with the correct user administrators, and then they can go in and then assign the appropriate roles, what people will need. So the email address on screen, obviously, it's pcse.portalenquiries at nhs.net. And we just ask that you view, send your name and an email address and the reason for emailing us, and then a member of the team will be able to help. OK, so I'm going to go through all the different user roles. So I'll start with the name of the user role and then I'll just briefly explain what that role's for and who it's for. So the first one is a GOS performer. So that's for ophthalmic performers who will be completing the performer declaration on GOS claims and CET claims. 
And then you've got the GOS claim manager. So that's for reception and dispensing staff who need to view and enter data on GOS claims. Then you've got the contractor signatory. So that's for GOS contractors and their designated signatories who will be completing the contract declaration on GOS and CET claims. Then you've got the OPH statement view. So that's for users permitted to view monthly statements. So that's something that you might be doing already using PCSE Online or EGOS. And then you've got a supplier signatory. So that's for staff involved in dispensing and or collections who are not contractor signatories, um, but that will be also needed by staff in dispensing only outlets. And then the last one that we've got is for OPH head office. So if you're part of a chain, then you can assign a user at head office who can then view statements for all practices within that chain. So don't worry if you've not got all this down. We do have lots of information on the PCSE website with user guides and things, which shows all the user management and how you go about getting these roles and what the roles are for. So we'll get that out to you as well within the communications that we send out. We'll send you a link so you know where to find it on the PCSE website. So I'm going to quickly show you a quick video. <clears throat> so it was just basically when we first transformed onto PCSE Online and this is basically was videoed about it and what they thought about it. So I thought it'd be good just to include it if you had to have a watch. So yeah. I'm Stuart Mitchell. I've been an optometrist for over 30 years. We've been using PCC Online for approximately three months. The setup's easy. We've gone down the route of using a touchscreen laptop. I didn't buy new. It was relatively inexpensive. It works for us. The software is actually very easy to use. All the main paper forms are now online. It's very intuitive, very straightforward. As long as you can type on a computer, you can use it. The big benefit is that you can't submit a form which hasn't been filled in correctly. Once that form is sent down the line to PCSE, the claim will be accepted. We also have statements online where we can check back on GOS 1s, 3s, 4s and 5s. So individual claims can be count checked very easily. We're not having to post things, and that saves time, we'll save a little bit of money. PCSE Online works very well, and as a small practice, it's probably the simplest approach. I would certainly suggest if you get the chance to look at PCSE Online, it is worth looking at and just trying it out. It's worth doing it. There we go. So I hope that was a nice little video for you. So with moving online with a PMS provider, so if you are using a practice management system, also known as a PMS, um, you'll need to contact them to see when you can actually start submitting GOS forms electronically via the system. I think they need to send you an activation code before you can actually do anything. So just give them a contact and hopefully they'll be able to give you a code to get you going. And if using eGOS through your PMS for claims, appropriate users will need to be given the OPH statement view and the GOS claim manager role in PCSE Online so they can view the monthly statements and track the status of claims. And we've just put a couple of PMS providers on there to show you who we are currently working with. And I've just got another quick video for you um, from someone that was a PMS provider. EGOS is a way of confirming patient's identity and using the PCSE system. It's using a tablet for the, to capture their signature and making sure they're eligible for an eye examination. It's been very easy to set up. Within two hours, we were up and running. The reception staff have been very confident with it because it was already integrated into the software we were using. It was very simple. We're no longer using the blue forms, so that's a great saving. All that time is now saved and where we can concentrate on looking after the patients. It's definitely streamlined our practice. We're now able to log directly into the system, see the site tests that we carried out, and there's an itemised transaction at the end of the day, and then payment comes through swiftly. The practice management system and the PCSE website work really well together, and I'm really pleased and wouldn't think twice about recommending it. So I'm now going to quickly run through some hints and tips before I hand over to Salva for the system demo. So just a couple of pointers. So you can pre-populate the GOS forms prior to your patients entering the store. So hopefully that will save a bit of time for you. And performer and contract details are pulled through automatically, so you don't need to enter those details. 
Contractor signatory can bulk sign GOS claims under the claim submissions rather than GOS forms individually. So that just relates to site tests. So that'll be a GOS 1, GOS 5 and GOS 6. And performer, contractor signatory and the supplier signatory have to log in with their details to sign the relevant sections. And if you've got several branches, your user can have one login, but you'll need to assign them to individual branches because they are essentially a separate organisation under PCSE Online. 